toes, or more specifically the ball of your foot can save your life out on the track. Why is this? It's because our ankles are the most complex joint in our body. 26 bones and 30 joints in our foot, we should be using all of it. We've been designed to walk upright, swim, and of course, ride dirt bikes. When riders are told to stay on their toes, it's almost always referring to the ball of their foot. Our toes themselves do not have enough stabilization to fulfill the role that we are giving them. The foot on our pegs are two of only four connections to the dirt bike that we have. We should probably not neglect the only thing holding us onto the dirt bike. Well, how do we get on a ball of a foot anyways, and why is it important? Our first step into retraining our feet is to place them correctly on the peg. This is the proper way to place our feet, and this is the improper way to place our feet. We must also use our calf muscles to suspend our heel equal or above the foot peg. This will allow proper flexion of the ankles over bumps and give you two or three more inches of suspension. Any worn pegs or boots should be replaced as soon as possible because they pose a safety hazard to you and I. Even though sharper pegs wear the boots out more, I do prefer them over dull pegs. This is because they allow me to get more feel and grip on the bike. Our feet can't work all the way either if we don't have our knees behind the pegs. Always prepare for your plan to go awry and make your foot placement habitual. Feet are two of the four connections of our dirt bike. This makes it essential to our safety and our confidence while riding. If you've ever watched your friend wad into a bush or tree, hit that subscribe button and click here to learn the basics of how to whip. Thanks for watching.